Hey everyone, Travis here with Arbor Ridge. Um, I wanted to share with you, this is a project that we're working on right now. Um, and a lot of times I'm asked basically what to do when you have a really, really flat backyard and you want a waterfall. Um, so this is kind of a common challenge, something that happens uh, quite, quite often where you really don't have a slope to work with. So, so there's a couple things we can do and a couple considerations that I wanted to go over with you. Um, so you can see here, this is a perfectly, pretty well flat backyard. Uh, it was a cornfield at one time, kind of new home construction. Um, and we are building a waterfall in this area. So a couple things that we've done, we've brought in uh, two large dump truck loads of dirt to build the area up. We have another one coming to help blend it in kind of to the surroundings so that it doesn't look like a big hill uh, the way it looks right now. And then the other thing we're gonna do is there's a slight slope kind of starting from this right side going to the left. Um, and we'll be able to kind of capitalize on that optical illusion and just to extend that out so that everything kind of blends together. Um, and then the third thing that can be done is by kind of minimizing the height of the waterfalls. Um, you'll still have a nice impact and a nice sound, but it makes it a lot easier for everything to blend in. And then the uh, fourth thing um, is that once they come in and do all their plantings around it, then the water feature is not the highest thing. So if you can have a tree that's here, um, it's going to, to help create that illusion that the water is actually at the lowest point. So you kind of, um, you, don't under, you don't realize that everything is sloping sort of away and, and down into the backyard. So uh, lots of things that can be done. I'll look forward to showing how this all comes together um, and we'll follow back up on it. All right, thanks for checking it out and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.